Probably nothing. Hello, Some guy came into gentlemen. town. Said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge room. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. You know what you're looking for? Every conceivable good you could ever. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got. There you are. Let's uh -huh. see if I can uh, find something from these guys. Biometric scanner. And. A military grade circuit board. Nice. Back to the Boston airport we go. Sorry, just cracking my knuckles over here. See, I'm so good, I don't even need to look at my shit. We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal interceptor. Better check all your connections and make sure all the Have components to make sure are wired together. This is on the same grid way. as the rest of the signal interceptor. Hmm. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt institute. Right. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's going to stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? 
Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. Damn. She was a valuable resource. It was a mistake to let her leave. Agreed. I wish our predecessors would have had your foresight. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor is ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. You wanted to get into the Institute, right? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's see. Dr. Lee Relays is a dialed asset. in. Beam emitters warmed her, up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's going to take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. You All that's left is to throw soldier. the transmit switch. Move out. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Nice. We're inside. I just want to play a bit of Red Menace. See if I can get it. Well, I'm really bad at this.
Now it's a little stiff. Oh boy. Battlefield Caliphate? Uh, what is it called? Network scanner, there it is. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. No way to pick this. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. God damn. So many years stolen. Who are you? These bad people, they... They stole you from me. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards. They... They killed your father. What's going on? Father? Father! I'll kill them for this. All of them. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Damn it. Sean, open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. 
Welcome to the Institute. <sighs> Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? 
Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But... The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is quite an interesting thing that we got here, and we found a wonderful, yet horrifying array of answers, but interesting nonetheless. I'm Kara Cactus, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Ta-ta.